Discrimination based on hair. The new guidelines meant to protect New Yorkers who were targeted because of their natural hairstyles. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back to CBS 2 News, now streaming on CBSN New York. And now at 530, it is even happening in 2019. Certain people told that they can't wear their hair natural or in other styles because it's unprofessional. New York City became the first to say it's officially racial discrimination. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more. She's going to take the rollers out. Morrisania resident Shayna Walters getting her hair done straight today, but she says some days she likes braids. It helps your hair grow. And legally, she can wear it however she wants. New York City's Commission on Human Rights starting today, spelling it out for employers, banning natural hair or hairstyles are considered racial discrimination. About time the city is recognizing that they shouldn't discriminate based on the texture, the, the style of what you like. Your hair is your hair. The Human Rights Commissioner today tweeted out this photo from President Barack Obama letting a boy touch his hair in the Oval Office, saying, quote, hair is a part of you. Hashtag your hair, your right, NYC. Workplace expert Stephen Viscusi says he's received hundreds of calls about it from all over the country. Told to cut their hair or they lose their job. It's disgraceful. 